girlfriend? I remember. What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. Uh, how about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. What does he want? Oh, I can think what he could possibly want, or why he'd be pissed off, can you? I... <laughs> Come on, guys, let's be reasonable. Excuse me, could we get a move on? Hey, baby, baby, come over here! Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Oh, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh... You look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh... Fun fair. Yeah, great! 
Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo. <laughs> So, Michelle, what do you like to do? What do you like to do? Come on, I asked you first. I like to keep active, I guess. Sports, working out, things like that. I'd like to know about you, though. See the places you hang out. Yeah, maybe another time. time of year. I, I don't know if it would pass safety regulations anyway. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Cool. Let's go bowling then. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, uh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Have a lane open for you. That's most of them gone. Come on now. Boom! Yes! A spade! You can still get the spare. Don't get a gutter. Yes, I got the spare. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty cool, good at bowling. Cool.
That's the last of them down. This is it. Not a bad start. I'm not great at life, but I ball like an angel. A spare! Gotta be pleased with that. There's nothing to it! Hey, you got some of them down. Here goes! Second time lucky! Unlucky! Here you go! Okay for me. Your go. Got there in the end. I am good, yes. Here we go. Play. It's gonna knock those pins down. Next time. Go on. Not bad, yes. I'll take that. Good luck. Man, I am terrible. This is it. Nice, you got some. Don't get a gutter. That's pretty good. You did well. You're good, Nico. That was fun. Will you take me back home now? Of course I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Get out of the way. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess.
have you been doing? <laughs> Nothing illegal, I hope. Sorry. you run off to? So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. Nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. money from them in the first place, Roman. Anyway, I was seeing Michelle. I thought you wanted me to date her. That's what it means, me getting beat up and sent to hospital. Come and pick me up, cousin, and at least tell me that you got her titties out. Maybe then your betrayal will be worthwhile. They were nice titties, yes? You're an animal, Roman. Nothing can stop you being horny. I'll see you soon. who chose Cooch before his cousin. I hope she was worth it. Will you drive me back to the office, cousin? Oh. How was she, cousin? Tell me how she was. I wondered about Michelle when I first met her. If she was not a friend of Mallory's, it would be me with the smell of titty on my breath and you who ended up in hospital. Firstly, Roman, my breath does not smell of titty. Secondly, I don't think that your loan shark friends could hospitalize me. I can look after myself. All the more reason why I should have hooked up with Michelle. Everyone would be a winner. Yes, well, I will not let these men treat you like that again. I'm sorry for letting you down, Roman. Roman. I apologize again for not being there for you. You've done a lot for me since I got here. Uh, the choice between some titties and your safety would have been difficult for me as well. Don't worry, Nico. Call me soon.
suppressed again. This is not your fault. Okay, Roman. I'm not going to let something else get in the way this time. Where are you? Over on the court, under the L train and Firefly. Blader, Wadi, you brought your point the first time. Needs a good friend of mine. It was a misunderstanding. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Shit! There he is! Keep him fat boy here and I'll talk to him! Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop! Now it's too late. Want some more? No. If I wasn't a pacifist, I'd stick it to you too. No. There's what I owe, plus interest. No. You are right, cousin. Yeah. Fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. Get in the fucking car! Survive, cousin? Didn't stop. He's trying to get away on foot.
Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgarin. He lived on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later. Drop this in the kitchen. Thanks for helping us make food fast. <laughs> 